function notation. So we're used to seeing a function looking like this, y equals x squared. Here we're going to learn a new way to write it. So instead of y, we can write f of x equals x squared. And essentially, whenever we see f of x, it really means y. It just tells us our function is in terms of x. And it's quite useful for when we want to sub values into our function. So let's have a look. So if I want to sub 1 in for x, I can now write it as f of 1. And wherever I see x, I just replace it with 1, just like I would substitution. 1 squared is 1. The f of a, wherever I see x, I'm just substituting a, so it would be a squared. If it was the f of x plus h, Wherever I say x, I'm replacing it with x plus h. So it'll be x plus h, all squared. Let's look at some other ones. If we had the function f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 1, what is the f of 0? Well, the f of 0... Wherever I see x, I'm substituting 0. So 0 squared plus 4 times 0 minus 1. 0 squared 0. 4 times 0 is 0 minus 1. So I get minus 1. And you can think about it just like your y value. So what's the f of minus 3? Wherever I see x, I'm replacing it with minus 3. So it would be minus 3 squared plus 4 times minus 3 minus 1. Minus 3 squared is 9. 4 times minus 3 is minus 12, minus 1. So I should get minus 4 for this one. What about the f of b? Wherever I see x, I just replace with a b. So we get b squared plus 4b minus 1. Mm -hmm.